Welcome to my channel, I telling about the Crown Season 6 Part 2 leaked information, are you ready for the final season of The Crown? Netflix has just dropped the trailer for the sixth and last installment of the acclaimed royal drama, and it's a doozy. The show takes us back to the turbulent times of the 1990s and early 2000s, when the British monarchy faced unprecedented challenges and scandals. The series is known for its meticulous attention to historical details and its controversial depiction of Princess Diana's life and death. The trailer has sparked both excitement and skepticism among fans, but there is one question that remains. How will the crown balance historical accuracy and artistic license, especially when it comes to portraying the enigmatic Princess Diana in a new and provocative way? In this video, we'll explore the creative choices behind the upcoming season 6 of The Crown on Netflix and how the show's creator has responded to the criticism over a leaked scene involving Diana's ghost. Season 6 of The Crown on Netflix is the grand finale of this epic saga about Queen Elizabeth V and her family. The show has been praised for its realistic and immersive portrayal of the royals, thanks to the clever casting of different actors every two seasons. The trailer shows that the new season will pick up where the previous one left off, diving into the 90s and shining a light on some of the most dramatic and memorable events in Queen Elizabeth's reign. But the most anticipated and controversial aspect of the new season is the portrayal of Princess Diana, played by actress Elizabeth Debicki. How will the show handle the sensitive and complex story of Diana's life and death, and what impact will it have on the viewers and the royal family? One of the sources of controversy is a scene that was leaked by the Daily Mail, a British tabloid, that revealed that Princess Diana would appear as a ghost in the new season. This revelation shocked and upset many fans who found it potentially disrespectful and insensitive to Diana's memory. The scene showed Diana's ghost haunting both Prince Charles and the Queen, as a way of showing her lasting influence on their lives. How did the show's creator justify this creative decision, and what was his intention behind it? Let's find out what he had to say about Diana's ghost in The Crown. Peter Morgan, the creator of The Crown, has recently explained his rationale behind including this storyline in the royal drama. He told Variety magazine that he did not imagine Diana as a traditional ghost, but rather as a vivid presence in the minds of those who loved her and those who felt guilty about her. He said, Diana was unique, and I suppose that's what inspired me to find a unique way of representing her. She deserves special treatment narratively. Morgan's statement suggests that he wanted to honor Diana's legacy and significance by presenting her in this unconventional way. He wanted to capture her enduring impact on the royal family, especially on Prince Charles and the Queen, who had complicated and conflicted relationships with her. The portrayal of Princess Diana's death in the crown has also been a source of controversy, as the show did not shy away from showing the graphic and tragic details of her fatal accident. The show depicted the scenes of medical professionals trying to save Diana in a bloody operating room, as well as the image of Diana lying in a coffin in an open casket. These scenes were disturbing and upsetting for many viewers, who criticized the show for being insensitive and exploitative. Some of Diana's friends also expressed their outrage and disappointment, calling the scenes sick and ghoulish. They argued that Netflix should have been more respectful and compassionate towards Diana's memory and her family. The show's creator, Peter Morgan, has defended his artistic choices, saying that he wanted to be truthful and authentic to the historical events. He said that he did not want to sugarcoat or sanitize the reality of Diana's death, and that he wanted to show the human and emotional side of the story. He said, I think what we've done is very beautiful and very tasteful, and I think we've done justice to the memory of this extraordinary person. Morgan's statement indicates that he had a different perspective on Diana's death, and that he wanted to portray it in a way that would honor her life and legacy. What do you think of the trailer for the final season of The Crown? Are you excited or skeptical about the portrayal of Princess Diana? Do you agree or disagree with the show's creator's creative decisions? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.